Hello, how's it going? It's been a while since I've shown you any progress on this thing right here, my custom police station. Well, at least on this YouTube channel. I've been doing all of my work on it from scratch over on Twitch, and I completely forgot that, uh, well, there's a lot of folks that don't follow me on Twitch and would like to see some progress along the way and are interested in something other than just the finished product. I was, you know, for quite some time now, I've been looking forward to showing this completed, but it's been taking some time to do. Well, let me give you a little bit of a progress update right now. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because there is still a lot of work yet to be done, but I wanna show you where I'm at, such as, well, just showing you the whole thing. This is, this is the plan. This is inspired by and using some of the pieces from my original police station that I built in, I believe it was early 2014. It was my first large building in, in old Jang City and it's old you know or it was old it doesn't exist anymore it's been all taken apart um it was good enough for for its time i enjoyed it i enjoyed having it but i need something bigger and something more modern and something better so i started working on this and basically designed it as i went along because that's how i personally like to do designs and, and builds and, and mocks in general. Took a little bit of inspiration from some things that I've seen from official Lego sets, official Lego you know police related sets, and a little bit of inspiration from some things that I've seen in real life, and a little bit of inspiration from just the randomness of doing stuff, such as this whole cantilevered section right here. It's just something that I decided I wanted to, to, to try for, for such a rect rectilinear building. I wanted to do something to make it a little bit more interesting than that. Obviously, there's no de uh, detail inside here. So you're looking straight through and it's like, oh, that's boring. Yeah, well, well, eventually there will be detail. It will have, like all my buildings, eventually will have a, a fully detailed interior. And most recently, I've been working on detail for the bottom floor. And I actually finished the detailing for the inside over here. Let me see if I can, if I can show you briefly from a different angle. Yeah, you can't see it all that well. But there's a lobby in here, and I'm not going to take the whole thing apart right now in this video. Uh, at, at this time, I'm not set up for, for all, of, all of that. But uh, the lobby section is detailed. Inside of here is the, uh, the break room. There's also a restroom inside of it. And there is a kind of a custodial storeroom inside as well. The garage over here has not been detailed in yet. That'll be the next, the very next thing that I work on over here. Still got to have those roll up doors, you know, classic roll up doors. Really like those, made them much taller than before. This also has access over from the side, some sideways windows there. So this is where some minifigs can get in. This is going to go in the same place that you most recently saw my old police station in my city. And as such, right here is where the police train will be parked, right in that spot. And there's access around the back as well. And this here is an elevator shaft, which will remain completely empty. I'm not going to do another working elevator for this because I've already shown once that I'm perfectly capable of making a working elevator, but it adds unnecessary complexity and size to a build. So I'm instead going to use this as the, the main conduit for wiring for when this all gets lit up. This is going to eventually, like all buildings in my city, have lighting on the inside of it. If I can get that to get back there. Yeah, this will just make it significantly more, uh, more convenient to get all the, the wiring in there. So this is what it looks like around the back. And you probably got some questions about, wait, is this right? The angles are looking funky there. I think it's just because of the wide angle lens, but uh, this needs to get centered up just a little bit, a little bit better. It needs to have one more stud on this side between these two, these two levels. So I already mentioned what's in this space down here. Uh, the next level up is going to have some offices and interrogation rooms, including the suggestion of a one-way mirror. Now, probably one of the things that is looking weirdest to you here is this section right here. So I've got a cantilevered area and I'm just going to pull this out to show you how it's cantilevered. Indeed, this whole section up here is just going just to have offices, you know, kind of open plan offices in it. It's just hanging in there. Why? Because I wanted it to, <laughs> like I said, with, with the, with how much conventional design there is here, just basic rectangular shape. I wanted to have something weird, 
And so I did this. It's just sticking off and it doesn't need to have any support underneath because there's enough weight on top and there's enough width right here in the, the floor beneath it. And I'm going with it. This thing was, well, it's, it's the framework of what I was looking at as a possibility for a different floor for just how I could do windows for a different floor. And I didn't end up going with this design. However, I kind of like the look of this, this prototype. And especially with having it at an angle helps to break things up even further, helps to break, break up that fully 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree shaping of the whole thing by putting it in at an angle. So it's actually shorter in the front than it is at the back. And it provides something else that kind of offends the senses. It just throws you off, off base. And I think that's important. I think it's important for me. I think it was important for this design. I may end up changing that color out. I may change these pieces, the window frames to black instead or something. I'm not sure. Definitely not planning to put anything on top of here in terms of a lot of people have suggested using that as outdoor patio or something. That is not my intent whatsoever uh, in, in, that, in that space. I, I don't want to do that. I want to leave it open. The idea is for it to be cantilevered and just an architectural feature. That's it. And then up here, this will be accessible. So people can go out there on the balcony if, if they want to from this door, but it's probably not the most common thing that will happen. Com communication stuff, antennas and stuff will be over here rather than on the, the highest level because the highest level will have the, the helipad. So this will have a helipad once again. The elevator shaft goes all the way up to that. And there'll be some simple access up here. I'll try to make it not too high uh, high profile topmost levels where the jail cells will be previously my my original police station had kind of a prison attached to it so it had basically a prison directly over the garage this is going to be set up more like a jail so it's going to have a couple of of uh general holding cells that can have multiple pe people in them and have just a few holding cells that are intended to be for just one person each and so i got you know, slit style windows here also on the other side access through access control on the inside then i haven't decided specifically exactly what will be in this space here and what will be in this space here so i'm just some of the things i'm i'm deciding upon as i go and again that's just how i personally like to do it it's how i like to do design i like to just get my hands on on pieces and go from this angle it definitely looks the least interesting well i mean at least this stuff over here looks the least interesting looks the most straightforward the most plain i might add a uh some some drainage you know piping out here or something perhaps just to add something again to break up the the monotony of it all but if i don't that's okay because this is all going to be out around the back anyway and the spot where this goes basically across the street from where the um, the ice cream shop is right now with the arcade above and the the bike shop behind it is going to have the elevator rail going past here just a little bit of driveway elevator rail goes past here and then again the the main passenger rail loop goes past back here and the police train will be able to park in this space kind of the backyard of this and the the space is the space is all there Everything is, is going to fit as designed thus far. And as I get more of this done, I will, I will show you more details. And especially when it's completely done, I'll go and give you a full tour as always. Just, you know, it's, it's the usual stuff. It's just this stuff takes time and my priority continues to have to be on reviews. So January 1st review, or excuse me, new sets came out, a lot of new sets from Lego. And I got a lot of them and I built all of them and I've reviewed most of them. So now I have just a little bit of time until March 1st before the next series of sets come out. And there will be far fewer sets that are coming out on March 1st than came out on January 1st. So that means I'll be able to go through those even more quickly and get back to work on the city and on custom stuff. I did uh, not long before the publishing, recording and publishing of this video that you're looking at right now, I did a 
my first ever full public city stream over on Twitch with the the viewer, essentially viewer created streaming rig that allows me to go all around using a total of four camera views, even putting a camera live on the train track and taking it around. So that has worked out well and you'll see me working live in the city more in the future. But for now, I just wanted to give you a little update, let you see this if you hadn't seen it before. Be sure to, to follow me on Twitch if you wanna see the live stuff. There is a lot of it, I'm doing more and more live work on Twitch, including a lot more casual work and not just completely structured stuff because I really enjoy the experience over there and enjoy the fact that it's not tied to any algorithms, it's not tied to like the YouTube algorithm. There's not as much pressure to perform in very, very specific ways. I can just be more myself, chat with a lot of people and have a good time. And the, the energy over there is very nice. Check it out if you'd like to, link in the video description as always, and I will keep you posted more frequently going forward. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now. Buttons, yes. <laughs>